Good morning, folks, and here's a wonderful story that I'm a few days late coming to you to collect my thoughts about the man, the mission, and what he's going to do with his life, Mr. Casey Hudson, and of course, Mark Derrick, because they both left Bioware on the same day a few days ago, and well, it's nothing new. This is an article on Kotaku from six years ago when Casey originally left Bioware and making it the most difficult decision of his life that he had to do and then join Microsoft and work on HoloLens. And that was a thing. And then he came back in 2017 when Aaron Flynn felt like leaving. And it wasn't this sort of Aaron Flynn is leaving, let's go call Casey Hudson. They were preparing this. Casey Hudson was ready to come back. And Aaron Flynn's like, well, I feel like I want to go. And we don't know the, ex the exact reason why he's going. They just feel like it's time to leave back in 2017. So Aaron Flynn felt like it was time to leave and they were slowly transitioning to getting Casey back. And it was the most difficult decision of my career to leave Microsoft. Or his prior, his prior decision, sorry, was his most difficult decision. So I don't know. It's kind of like he's breaking up with his, his girlfriend of 20 years and finally, oh, I should come back to her. Okay, fine. Good on you, Casey, but now you're gone again. So whatever the original reason you left, uh, wow. Is it retirement? We don't know. So here's the message from Bioware from Laura Miel, the CSO or Chief Studios Officer, the person who oversees all their satellites in the EA brand. Says, we're going to have Samantha Ryan in the interim from EA, who works, who used to work with uh, Warner Brothers Games is going to be overseeing these things as Casey Hudson is, is gone. And they're going to have this guy called Christian Daly, who was in charge of Anthem, who's now going to be in charge of Dragon Age because of Mark Dara going. However, the search for a new GM is underway, and we are already talking to some great people. So they don't even have a replacement for Casey, which it means that they, this was unexpected, or rather the company wasn't prepared for this. Which technically means to me that this is Casey leaving on his own accord and Mark Dara also leaving on his own accord. Maybe they're in cahoots for doing something. I highly doubt it because they would have said something along those lines. Uh, it sounds as if Casey just wants to leave and, and Mark Dara is like feeling that as well. And we've seen this over the years. This is not an uncommon occurrence. For example, here's Mr. What is his name? Mike Laidlaw, who left the company years ago. Then he worked at Ubisoft for a year. He stopped doing that. And now he's working with another company that just was announced a few, I think it was last month. So that was back in 2018. And here's Ben Irving, who left the company in 2019, the lead producer of Anthem. Now, Anthem was not exactly their most respectable game they produced. But you can imagine that after eight years at Bioware, what a change that must have been. Oh my God, we're not producing quality anymore. I need to do something else. I need to move on. I need to keep going. But it doesn't stop there. We have other people. This fellow called Chad Robertson, the guy who was in charge of Anthem's live services, who's been at Bioware for 14 years as the live service director, he had been the public face behind the promises that Anthem would be getting better, but it didn't. Then we have James Olin, the, the guy who's been there probably the longest, 22 years. The guy who worked on Baldur's Gate. So this is not uncommon. These stories just keep happening. And it's finally taking so long for the guy in charge to leave a second time from Bioware. But again, here's Dragon Age again. Dragon Age 4's lead producer from last year leaves Bioware. Fernando Mello. This is, this is a common, normal thing at Bioware. The majority of the alumni are gone. The doctors are gone. The guy in charge is gone. The guy who invented and created and was a producer and leads of Dragon Age franchise, the Mass Effect franchise, are all gone. The Anthem guys who helped design and build it are all gone or being transferred over to Dragon Age. Not exactly the greatest vote of confidence. And yet, I could not be more confident or optimistic about Bioware's future and the next generation talent in place. 
when someone leaves like this, it's usually never a good thing. Unless the person you're getting to replace them, which there is none, is even better. Now we're talking about Casey Hudson, who was the general manager. He wasn't doing anything creative, but he does call the shots. So this is not a good thing. They're not leaving in the best way. Definitely not the way that Aaron Flynn was replaced with Casey Hudson, because that's that's promising. Oh, you're getting a guy who was with Bioware for so long who put Mass Effect on the map? That sounds great. Why did he leave in the first place? What package did they offer him? What the heck is Casey Hudson doing now? We don't know. It's always a mystery. So here's some responses from other guys who've already left Bioware, which I didn't mention because it's, you know, there's so many, I'd, I'd be here for another 30 minutes. So David Gator, writer of Dragon Age, one of the most well-known, probably the lead writer of Dragon Age. This is his reaction, sweet mother of Zeus. Here's Christian Daly. Thank you for the love and enthusiasm you've shared with me, Anthem, because he was in charge of that. Wishing my friends Casey Hudson and, and Mark Dara all the very best. Big shoes to fill in as I join the DA team. You're now in charge of Dragon Age. The guy who was previously in charge of Anthem. That's fantastic. He is now the studio director for BioWare's Austin, Texas satellite. He's gone from being in charge of Anthem's live updates to being in charge of remaking the whole game. And now he's in charge of making Dragon Age 4. What what a what a great promotion. I feel very confident with this guy being in charge of Dragon Age. Here's Christian Daly. Here's his response. All very humbling. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Check out the new Dragon Age website that launched today. That includes some cool new stories and illustrations. Now nah, I'll I'll wait on that. I'll wait till the whatever announcement was it tomorrow or whatever is gonna happen at the game awards. Here's Mike Gamble. He's still there at, at Bioware. I don't know what he's doing. He's blocked me, but I can tell he's probably working on uh, Mass Effect whatever because it looks like that's all he's got going for him. And Casey Hudson, and here's his response. I'm not sure exactly what that is yet, but I know that I want to try by rediscovering my creative passion through more personal work. So essentially he's retired. That's what he's saying. He just needed to leave. It could have been stress. It could have been he wasn't feeling fulfilled. Maybe 2020 caused him to go, hey, you know what? I really like flying my planes. I want to fly some more planes. I want to, I want to put on a hollow lens in my plane. Install Microsoft or <laughs> install Windows 95. See how well it runs. Here's a response from Mark Dara. Lots to say because, you know, Mark Dara. I don't know. Oh, sorry, Mike Gamble. But Mark Dare, the guy who just left. I don't know what's next for me, but I'm excited to find out. Just as I'm excited to find out what Dragon Age now becomes. (laughs) Since I'm no longer there, I have no freaking idea what the hell's going to happen. I can't wait to see how they screw it up, because good golly, I'm not staying for that crap. So this is the investor call that was in February of this year. Uh, buy was nowhere to be seen. Uh, no one knew what was happening to it. Their 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 titles, and of course it's 2020. But this is fe- this is before 2020 fiasco happened. This is you know February. Everything happened in March, so nothing was mentioned about Bioware. But we did find out in April that Dragon Age Four will release sometime after April 2022, which means it's probably coming out in April or 2023 or 2024 at the rate we're going. And I'm sure we're going to see some more people being fired or or quitting or what have you. So this is just the news regarding Mark Dara and Casey Hudson. Don't worry, we have one other story to talk about. But just just to get a a vibe, get a feeling for what's going to happen to Bioware in the next few years, if it even gets that far. We don't know. I don't know. Casey doesn't know. Mark Dara doesn't know. And Michael Gamble, well, we can only guess. Thanks for listening, folks. Have yourself a great day.